we're constantly trying to bring more people in. So our hiring process is continuous now. Manchester Police Chief Alan Aldenberg says departments like his are having to become more creative in hiring, turning to social media for recruitment, outreach through veteran organizations and more. We would give tests where we'd have a good showing of 250, 300 people. Uh, now I'm down to 50 that are showing up. Um, and out of that 50, let's be honest, I'll be probably have 10 to 15 viable candidates. There are 14 vacancies right now in the Manchester department. If I got a dozen applicants, that's a lot now. For Franklin Police Chief David Goldstein, that dozen quickly gets whittled down to one or two applicants who are truly qualified. In Nashua, recently they were down about 15 officers. Which is significant for an agency at only at 100 and we're authorized for 180. Actually, we're authorized for 176 from the chief down roughly. Uh, so 13, 14, 15 vacancies is significant for us. They've been able to make progress by adding a second recruitment officer and proactively seeking out recruits. Now they're only down about three officers. Chiefs say there are multiple reasons behind the decline. Certainly part of that has to do with some of what's going on socially. Uh, secondly, uh, when pe some people come to find out that, oh, you mean I have to work midnights for the next three years or something? Yeah. That's your, or I may not have weekends, no. Manchester police say they're holding another test in the spring where they hope to see more applicants. In Manchester, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.